Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, we're back to talking about business continuity management in ServiceNow. I'm refreshing my video series to show you the new look and experience in Vancouver and beyond in ServiceNow. So I have an older video, I'll link to it above, where I basically go over these same topics. In this video, we're gonna talk about element definitions with regards to business continuity management. So I'm in the new workspace. If you haven't seen it, it's beautiful. I have a video for that too, giving an overview. But we wanna talk about element definitions and what the heck do I mean by element definitions. Well, we're gonna start looking at element definitions by going to a business impact analysis or a BIA that's already set up in the system. I'm gonna open this one for inbound business payment. Inbound business payment is a process that's defined as an element that we can apply a business impact analysis to. So I'm gonna click on the details tab here in the workspace and we should see a field for applies to so this is where I would select what this business impact analysis applies to if we look at the inbound payment validation I'll click the little information button it'll show me information about this particular business process so I've got details and the name, description, the parent, the review frequency, ownership, business impact and CIA triad I don't know triad Let's see, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. This is new to me. I actually don't remember this, uh, so that's cool. Um, I'll cover that in another video. But basically, I can view information about that business process. And if I want to go back to the BIA and associate it with something else, I can click the little magnifying glass and see all the different business processes that I can pick from. Um, in fact, this is sorting by, it's actually doing all business processes, automation, CIs, uh, base bot process and flow automation is what's pulling in here uh, for the class. But you can define these, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, before we get to defining those, let's go back to the home page here, and I want to open up a planning, uh, a business continuity plan. And with the business continuity plan, we can see where this comes into play here too. So in the new workspace, we have a tab here for scope. So let's go ahead and click on the scope. And this is gonna look a lot different than it did in my previous video. So on the left-hand side, we have the primary scope and different asset types. So everything from applications to business processes as we were just talking about, all the way down to Windows servers. Again, these are, you're actually looking at the element definitions right there. That is them showing up in the workspace on a business plan. Now, the business plan is going to pull in this scope from the business impact analysis that's associated uh, with that. So when we go in here, um, we have a template, and in that template, we define uh, what it's based on, and that should pull in the scope, okay? We can add scope by clicking the Add button, and then we can go and select something to add to the Windows server, or if we wanted to go to business processes like we were just talking about, I can click on business process, click Add, and we can go find that inbound, uh, I think it's inbound accounts payable inbound payment validation. I don't know, it's inbound something. I can select that and add it to scope for this particular one. So that's cool. But where do you define these? And that's what I, the purpose of this video was to show you where these define. Now, if you look at the ServiceNow documentation, they will tell you to go to business continuity management, which you could see our business continuity over here on the left-hand side in my all menu, um, business continuity, and there's an administration section. So again, this is an admin level task where you can create under general administration element definitions, and that's what we want to define. So if I go to element definitions, I see what we were just seeing in that business plan from applications all the way down to Windows Server. If I open up, let's do the business processes, which we opened up on the business impact analysis so we can see what that looks like. We get to define the name of it, right? This is a friendly name for the business continuity manager or someone who's coming in that applies to field. What are they gonna see? They're gonna see business process or in that list of things on the left-hand side. Then we specify the source table, and this is where it gets really cool on how business continuity interacts with the rest of the ServiceNow platform. We can pick any table that has the information we need. So this one's already defined. I'm not going to change it, but let's just do, for illustration, let's search for a company. Maybe we want uh, the company table, or maybe we want something with regards to location, maybe a particular office or a particular building or something like that. So if I search for location, we scroll down here, I've got all of my location tables that are in the system. If 
I wanted something to do with a server, I can search for server and it'll pull everything that has server. So I can make these something that shows up there. So this is where they're defined. Then you can say what fields. So we can clean this up, right? The CMDB and different tables in ServiceNow have all kinds of information and all kinds of records. And so you can specify exactly what fields you want the business continuity team to see when they're looking at that. In this case, for business process, we're just pulling in the name and the department. We can also filter. So we can look at all those different fields that are showing up here and say, well, I want to filter and show only where the category starts with and then put in something there. Or I could say is and select something to put in there. Um, let's try one more. Let's try the business unit. Let's say what the business unit is. And then we can use our magnifying glass to select an actual business unit, uh, baby care, for example, and add that filter to this particular one. And that's where I would do that. Now, uh, once that's done, let's go back here under that element definition. Let's go business capability. Sorry, let's go business process is the one I was looking for. And I'm in the workspace view for that. Let me go ahead and change this to the default view. And we should see, yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you here was the requires data backup. So you can set whether this actually, yes or no, requires data backup um, as part of configuring those element definitions so that they show up in your business continuity management under the scope if you're looking at a business continuity plan or under the applies to if you're looking at a business impact analysis, uh, which I showed here at the beginning of the video. So that is element definitions in business continuity management in the the new refreshed user experience uh, in Vancouver and beyond in ServiceNow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in creating different elements to select and apply their business impact analysis and their business continuity plans to in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.